All right, everyone. So today I'm gonna do a little comparison of two popular bearings here. One's gonna be the uh, the ever popular China Reds Precision skate bearings. They're very cheap. You can see here they were like what 17.95. All stainless steel stuff. The second one's gonna be these top shelf Precision ceramic bearings made by Bones, of course. These are ceramic. They're very expensive. Um, there's a lot of reasons they're a lot better. Um, the ceramic ball itself is much stronger. It doesn't flex as much. It actually, um, it actually stays at a cooler temperature and can be made at much of a, a more consistent shape. So, I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what these are about. Now. Here's a, a set of these original bones. I, I clean them regularly, just uh, because it's fun to do and I'm, I'm a, kind of a nerd. But um, I'm gonna show you guys inside of these ceramic bearings and show you exactly what makes a ceramic bearing. I got these on Amazon, unfortunately. They are very expensive. Um, I think you can spend anywhere up to, you know, 70, 80 bucks for them. I spent about 50, 50 for them. And uh, from what I understand, it's gonna be well worth it. These bearings are okay. You know, they're your typical, um, typical bones bearings you'll see a lot of the time. They work, you know, but I, I noticed that right when you clean them, that, that the regular steel bones bearings, they're much better, but they quickly go back into kind of a, uh, kind of a state of, restriction right all right so here we have it the neat um, holographic ceramic reds bearings sticker we get into a little bit of the uh, details uh, pretty cool I'll read that later and then the bearings themselves so you'll see what differentiates these bearings from others is the white shield. Let's see if I can zoom in on this and actually, whatever. Um, so you're gonna be able to see that there's a couple things that differentiate. It'll say right here on the shield, it says, Bone Ceramic Reds. And on the back side, I'm looking at what should technically be white, but I could be wrong. So what you want to do is you want to have kind of like a blunt, softer edge, but hard enough to uh, lift up a seal. I do it all the time on these ones here, the reds, and it works really well. You know, if you're careful with it, you want to go from the inside out and actually carefully pry. They already seem to be very smooth, there's very, very little play in these. So my technique is, first thing I notice with these is the seal is actually a little tighter too. So you see how I'm doing that? I've got it, I've got it pinned up inside a little bit carefully. What I'm gonna do is pry that open. There's a little lip on there that you can actually pick up on, just be careful not to tear it, because you wanna keep these, these guys clean. And you'll see that the actual, piece pops up. There's the same exact style you'll see on most um, seals, but the inner seal on this one here, it actually looks a little bit better, a little thicker to maybe keep a lot of the uh, dirt out. We'll set that aside. Now inside, you're going to see the ceramic bearings. On these ones, They're not really like ones I've seen before. I've never really looked inside these yet. So these are Bones Ceramic Reds. These are your standard, red, standard reds with the steel balls on the right. And these are ceramic balls on your left. Weight wise, I'd say they feel pretty much the same. There is a cool like 
interesting hue to the actual bearing themselves. They have like this, like almost like a. I'll show you this best. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. You can see how it's got like a. Um, engraving on the outside there. They definitely feel smooth. Um, I've been dying to try these out in all seriousness. It's got the, the, the classic nylon cage. Um, on the back here it says preferred by pros, right? Okay, sure. Engineered for skating, skate rated, not ABEC rated. 100% high purity silicon nitride ceramic balls. Removable high speed nylon ball cage. Removable non contact frictionless rubber shield. Lubricated with low viscosity bones speed cream. Speed cream. Manufactured in China. Now, the next grade up from here is obviously going to be the this, this Swiss ceramics. But honestly, if you got the money to fork that over, you know, to buy those, go for it. But I think you should give these ones a try first. Watch out on eBay, there's a lot of people selling bull crap on there. A lot of uh, regular Swiss bones from a friend of mine mentioned that that they do have a lot of um, bogus stuff there, so just be careful with that. So I'm gonna put the shield back on. When you put the shield back on, you just wanna gently put it into position and you'll feel it just kinda snap into place. Yep, just like that, back into place. They're made like that, so you can replace them, clean them, as often as you want, really. These look really good. If you can listen to the difference, these are brand new. So you're not going to have a lot of stuff in there, but these things actually repair themselves as you go. Because the ceramic is so hard, and the, the metal is actually so hard also, it's an upgraded metal. So what you get is, um, if any dirt does get in there, it happens to polish itself. You can actually run these dry according to the manufacturer so you can get the nice ring out of it probably whereas um, your typical bearing like this the actual I mean you can just hear the difference they sound good they've been pretty good bearings but they're probably at the end of their life um, they sound so good and run so smooth because I actually regularly maintain them. Um, I've occasionally pulled the actual race out and gotten rid of the uh, the shield. The funny thing you can do with these bearings is, is it's kind of an interesting trick, is you can take the um, the race shield, I mean the, uh, the bearing shield here, the dust shield, the shield shield, dust shield shield, and you can swap it to the other side. I've done that on these. Makes it a little more difficult to actually pry over, but you can still get it off. So what I did is, since I was trying to keep them as clean as possible, rather than having the shield on this side all the time, I put this side facing the axle nut and, and kind of did a redundant thing of, of putting the shield on the outside, thus creating like a double wall and then this faces the inside of the, the wheel itself so you have two bearings facing like that with the urethane in the middle as kind of like another guard it works really well, give it a shot um, if I do make um, a video about uh, the bearings further, about my you know, uh, experience with them I will post it up, and get an update going in the meantime try it, give it a shot, fork out some cash Get yourself some ceramics. Um, I'm pretty sure it won't be disappointment. Money well spent in my book because these are going to last a lot longer. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and uh, we go from there. Thanks for watching my video. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.